Hello everyone, welcome back to Public Connect. In this video, we are going to learn how to generate offer letter using Google Sheets and Google Doc and share with HR team on Google Chat. So I work in an HR department where the regular task is to create and send job offer letters for multiple candidates. For this process, I have created an amazing automation with the help of Public Connect by setting up a connection between my Google Sheets, Google Docs, Google Drive and Google Chat in such a way that now whenever I'm going to add a new row along with the details of a candidate in my Google spreadsheet, automatically a job offer letter will be created for that same candidate and then automatically a PDF will be sent to my team members on Google Chat workspace with the same job offer letter. So how we are going to automate this entire process? For this we will have to set up a connection between all these applications and that we are going to do without any coding or programming skills with the help of Pabli Connect. To learn the entire automation step by step let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn how to create and send job offer letter for multiple candidates automatically on Google Chat Workspace with HR team. So I work in an HR department where the regular task is to create and send multiple job offer letters for different candidates. So I have prepared a spreadsheet for the selected candidates for whom we need to prepare the job offer letters. And my objective is that whenever I'm going to add a new row here in my spreadsheet along with the details of a new candidates, automatically a job offer letter should be prepared for that same candidate and then the same offer letter should be automatically shared with my HR team on Google Chat workspace. Okay, so we are going to create an automation for this entire process by setting up a connection between Google Sheets, Google Docs and Google Chat and that we are going to do without any coding or programming skills with the help of this amazing automation software Pabli Connect. So with the help of Pabli Connect, we are going to basically set up a connection between all of our applications and that too without any coding or programming skills. So this is the homepage of Pabli Connect where we can reach by tapping this URL pabli.com slash connect. After coming here we can find two options sign in and sign up for free. So if you are an existing user you can directly click on sign in but if you are a new user you have to click on the sign up for free button to create your free new account. Also when you will create your account you will get 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations. Now as an existing user I am directly clicking on sign in. This is the all app section where we can find all the products which are offered by Pabli. To create this automation, we are going to use Pabli Connect. So let's click on access now. And it has taken us towards the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Now here on our dashboard, we can find all of our workflows which we have created. And we can also create folders here to save our workflows. So as you can find, I have multiple folders over here. I have created all of them to save my workflows accordingly. Now to create a new workflow, we have to click on this create workflow option, which is given on right corner with blue color. So let's do that. And here a dialog box will appear in front of us. So it is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. So first of all, let us provide a name over here. Create and send job offer letters automatically. After giving the name, we can also select the folder in which we want to save this workflow. So I'm going to select automation for HRM over here. And now let us click on create. And as we have done that, we can find that two windows are open in front of us. First is the trigger and the other is action. So what are trigger and actions? So trigger and actions are the two main concepts or the principles on which the entire automation of Pabli Connect works. Okay, so here the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is a response towards our trigger. Whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that command. So here we can have only one trigger in any workflow, but we can have multiple actions as we want. So let's suppose we are going to take Google Sheets in our trigger and Google Docs in our action and we want that whenever a new row along with the details of a candidate will be added in our Google Sheets automatically by using that same response a job offer letter should be created in Google Docs. So here our action is following what the trigger commands because when the trigger happens that means when the row is added in Google Sheets then only action also happens that means then only the job offer letter is created in Google Docs otherwise not. So after understanding this concept let's start creating the workflow step by step. First of all we have to select our trigger application and that is Google Sheets. So let us select that and now we have to select trigger event. Trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to trigger. So our objective is that whenever in this particular spreadsheet the row will be added automatically then the response should be captured in Pabli Connect and with that response the workflow should get triggered. So new or updated spreadsheet row will be our trigger event over here. Now as we have done that we can find that a webhook URL is provided to us along with some instructions. So we need to follow the instructions very carefully in order to connect our Google Sheets with Pabli Connect and the webhook URL which is provided to us is going to act as a bridge for sending the data from Google Sheets towards Pabli Connect. So first of all, let us copy the webhook URL from here and then I'm going to tell you exactly what we are supposed to do. So for this, I'm going to take you towards my Google Sheets and this is my spreadsheet. So let me first of all explain you the spreadsheet I have created. Okay, so it contains all the details related 
related to the candidates as well as the job so here is the date here is candidate name here is email of the candidate mobile number candidates designation now in this i have applied the drop down function in which i have used multiple designations so we have multiple designations in our organization and we want to create job offer letters for each of them okay so therefore i have used a drop down function over here in this particular column so that we can select the candidate designation according to the requirements okay now in the same manner next we have department so let's suppose the designation of this candidate is junior developer l1 so the department will be development in the same manner if the candidate will be for digital marketing associate l1 then the department will be marketing okay so accordingly we have to select now the next is the work shift so i have used a drop down for this also so we have three work shifts over here 10 am to 6 pm 6 pm to 2 am and then 2 am to 10 am okay so accordingly it will be selected now here is the joining date reporting manager to whom the candidate should report here is the yearly compensation okay and on the basis of yearly compensation here are all the allowances and the deductions okay so this is tax deduction i have used a flat 20% rate of deduction over here because this is my dummy spreadsheet but in your case you can definitely change it according to the tax lab okay now the next we have base pay so base pay is half of the yearly compensation and i have applied formula over over here that is base pay is equal to yearly compensation that means j2 divided by 2 okay now the hra is 40% of base pay okay 320000 similarly the bonus amount is 8.33% of base pay here is provident fund gratuity esic if applicable professional tax okay other allowances and total tax amount now after adding all the deductions here is the total deduction and when we will subtract total deductions from the yearly compensation here will be our net salary here are some other details this is the sender name who is going to send this offer letter to the candidate okay sender's designation here is the candidate's address candidate's city state zip code and finally the status so, so here also in the status column i have applied a drop down so my objective is that whenever i'm going to select send over here in the ac column then only the workflow should continue otherwise not okay then only the offer letter should be created and then only it should be sent with the hr team so don't worry i am going to attach the link of the spreadsheet which i have prepared in the description of the video so you can use the same spreadsheet also and you can then make the changes according to your choice in the spreadsheet okay so for connecting this spreadsheet with public connect we have to go towards extensions and here we can find the option of add ons when we are going to click on this get add ons it has taken us towards google workspace marketplace now here we need to search for pably connect webhooks so let us select that so basically pably connect webhooks is the add on which we need to install in google sheets to connect it with pably connect so as you can find i have already installed the add on so i'm just going to cross this and once you will install this add on for the first time you also have to refresh your spreadsheet so that you will be able to find the option of pably connect webhooks under extensions and as i can find the option of pably connect webhooks over here let's go towards initial setup Basically in order to connect this spreadsheet with Pably Connect we have to perform an initial setup in which we need to enter two details webhook url and trigger column so first of all let us paste the url which we have copied from Pably Connect and the next is trigger column so the concept of the trigger column says that whenever we are going to add a new row in our spreadsheet and that will be up till this particular column the response of that entire row will be sent automatically towards Pably Connect and the workflow will get trigger okay it is saying that the trigger column will be a final data column on which if the data is added the whole of that row will be sent to the webhook url so in my spreadsheet i have columns up till ac so ac will be my trigger column because i want that whenever i'm going to add a new row in my spreadsheet along with the details of the candidate up till ac column that means up till the status column then the workflow should get trigger otherwise not so here I have entered AC as my trigger column and let's click on send test to send this test response of this demo candidate towards Pably Connect and we can find that the test data is sent successfully so let's submit the initial setup our configuration is set up successfully so let's cross this we will go back towards Pably Connect we will wait for a few seconds and here we can find that we have received the response in the response we have received all the details which we have in our spreadsheet okay this is zip code of the candidate yearly compensation work shift trigger column ac okay total deductions tax deductions 20% and all the other details related to the candidates and the job okay this means that our connection between google sheets and pably connect is successful so now we have to do one more thing because our objective is that whenever we are going to add a new row over here the response should be captured so for that we have to go towards extensions once again pably connect webhooks and we have to click on this send on event button and as we have done that we have made sure that now whenever a new row will be added over here the response will be automatically keep on sending towards pably connect okay 
Now we will go back towards Pabli Connect and our objective is to create a job offer letter for the response which we have received from Google Sheets. But before that here I am going to apply one condition that whenever the status of this row will be equal to send then only the workflow should continue further otherwise not. Okay so here for that we have to apply filter so let's select filter in the action step and our action event will be filter values. Okay let's click on connect. Now filter is an amazing feature by Pabli which allows us to set conditions in the workflow according to our requirements. So my condition is that whenever the status which we have received from Google Sheets. So this is status whenever the status will be equal to send then the workflow should continue further otherwise not. So here we have mapped the status from our previous response. This means now it has become dynamic. So whenever a new response will be captured automatically the status is going to be replaced over here. But the value of this label we have entered manually. This means that it is not going to change because it has become static now. So whenever a new status will come and it will not be equal to send then the workflow will stop over here. But if the status will be equal to send then the workflow is going to continue further. Okay and then the document will be created. So let's click on save and send test request button to check whether the condition is true or not. And yes, we can find that the condition is true. Here our objective is to create a job offer letter for the candidate. So this is the template which I have created for job offer letters. I want that whenever a selected candidate will be added in Google Sheets, automatically a job offer letter should be created for that same candidate. So in this particular template, I have all the details. This is the logo of my company. Here is the address of my company. And here are all of the details related to the candidate as well as the salary. So you can notice that I have used multiple variables over here. That means I have used multiple details in the curly brackets. So I have used curly brackets to enter the details so that they could be changed. So in the template wherever I have used curly braces for the details, the detail of that place are going to be changed automatically. And in this way I have created multiple variables by using curly braces. Okay, now I'm going to use this same template to create multiple job offer letters with on the same template for different candidates in the personalized format. Okay, so according to the designation, department, joining date, reporting time, reporting manager, along with the name and address of the candidate, this template will be updated. Okay, so we are going to use this same template to create the job offer letter each time. So we will go back towards Pabli Connect and now we have to connect Google Docs with Pabli Connect. So let's click on this add action step button and here we are going to select Google Docs as our action application. Now we have to select action event. So our action event will be create document from template. So this is my template of a letter and I'm going to use the same template to create the job offer letters. Let's click on connect and I'm going to select my existing connection only as I've already built a connection with my Google Docs account. To create a new connection, you need to click on this add new connection. Okay, now let's click on save. And we can find that with this, our Google Docs is successfully connected with Pabli Connect. So let's move further. Here we need to enter the details in these fields to create the job offer letter. First of all, we have to enter the template document which we want to use. So the template is offer letter template which is selected correctly over here. So I have selected the same. The next is the new document's name. What should be the name of a new document? So we are creating job offer letters for different candidates. So the name of my document should be job offer letter for and now here I'm going to enter the name of the candidate. So we have received the details of the candidate from our earlier response. That means from Google Sheets response. Therefore, I'm simply going to use the same response. So I will map the data over here mapping is inserting data from previous step here our previous step is given and here are all the details we want to map the name of the candidate which is given over here as demo candidate so let us select that and it is mapped so now when we have mapped this data it has become dynamic that means now with each and every new response the name is going to be replaced over here okay but whatever data we have entered manually is going to be same each time so job of a letter will be same but the name of the candidate will be changed so in this way we are going to create different documents with the same name so we are going to create different documents in this way this is new documents location so here I'm going to select new post okay the next is the date name address line city state etc so you must be thinking that how come these details are here in Google Docs step in this workflow so these are the fields which we have entered in our job of a letter template in curly braces so this is date name address line city state country pin code designation department joining date reporting to here we can find that these are the same details okay so when we are going to map the data in these fields one by one so when we are going to map the data of the candidate one by one in these fields automatically a job offer letter will be created for that same candidate okay and because here we are mapping the data instead of entering it manually therefore whenever we are going to add a new row over here in our google sheets job offer letter will be created for each of the candidates without any manual efforts okay now let's start mapping first of all we will map the date and here i'm going to search for the date so this is the date March 1, 2024. Okay, the next is the name. 
this is the name of the candidate demo candidate okay address city state country so i have entered country manually over here because it will be same each time the next is the pin code so let us map the pin code over here which is given as 462016 okay designation junior developer l1 department development joining date reporting manager ctc basic pay house rent allowance okay other allowances provident fund gratuity professional tax total tax deduction 20% total deduction net salary sender's name gary monro and here is the sender's designation done so we have mapped all the details let's click on save and send test request button and as we have done that we can find that we have received the response along with the response we have also received the id of the document this means that the document is created in google docs so let's go and check and here we can find that yes a new document is created over here job offer letter for demo candidate let me open the document and here is the offer letter for demo candidate this is the date this is the address of the candidate okay designation junior developer l1 development department joining date reporting manager and all the details related to the salary basic pay house rent allowance other allowances and the net salary okay okay so this means that our connection between google sheets and google doc is successful so whenever we are going to add a new row in our google sheets a job offer letter will be created for the candidate now our objective is to send this job offer letter to our hr team on google chat workspace for that we have to do one more thing because we want to send this in the pdf format so we will have to make this document shareable so let us click on this add action step button and our action application here will be google drive so let us select Google Drive. So, with the help of Google Drive, we are going to get the shareable link in the PDF format of the job offer letter document. Now, here our action event will be share file with anyone. Let's click on connect. From the given options, I am going to go with my existing connection as I've already built a connection over here with Google Drive account. If you want to create a new connection, then you have to click on this add new connection button and then you have to click on this sign in with Google. Let's click on save. And with this, we can find that our Google Drive account is successfully connected with Fabric Connect. Now we have to enter file ID over here to get the link. We have to make sure that we have to enter the file ID in the dynamic format. That means the file ID should get changed with each and every new response. Okay, then only the workflow is going to run. So we have to turn the mapping button on. Here is the existing data. So I'm just going to remove this and I will simply map the document ID which we have received from Google Docs. Okay, done. Let's click on save and send test request button. And here we can find that we have received a response. In the response, it is given that anyone with the link can open the document now. And here in the response, we can find that we have received multiple links over here. Among these links, we have to send this PDF link to our HR team on Google Chat. Okay, so for this, we are going to send the message over Google Chat Hangout. I'm going to take you towards Google Chat. And this is my space named as human resource team. And I want that for each and every new selected candidate, an offer letter should be created and should be sent on this particular Google Chat space with my team members. Okay, so for this, we have to move towards our next action step. And now we have to connect Google Chat with Pabli Connect. So let's click on this add action step button. And our action application this time will be Google Chats. And now we have to select the action event that will be create message because we want to send a message on our space. Let's click on connect. And now as we have done that, it is asking us for the chat webbook URL and message which we want to send. So for getting the chat webbook URL, we have to click on this hyperlink and it has taken us towards the Pabli forum page. Okay, now when we will scroll down, entire instructions to connect our Google chat with Pabli connect are given. Register the incoming webbook. We have to open Google chat, then we have to go towards the space name. There we will find the option of manage webbooks under which we have to create a new webbook and paste the URL given over here. So let me copy the URL. And now I'm going to take you towards my Google chat space. So we have to go towards the name of the space. And here we can find the option of apps and integrations. Let us select that. Now here webbook option is given. So we have to click on this add webbook button to create a new webbook. And now here we have to provide name to our webbook. So we have to be very careful while giving the name to our webbook because this will be the name from which the message will be received in this Google chat space every time from webbook. Okay. So let's say I'm going to give the name as now here we have to paste the url which we have copied from pabli forum page and we will click on save as we have done that we can find that a new url is added over here now we have to click on these three dots and then we have to click on this copy link we have to copy this link because it is required in 
Pabli Connect. Okay, so let's go back towards Pabli Connect, and here we have to paste the chat webbook URL which we have copied, and this is done. Okay, now we have to enter the message which we want to send to our team members along with the job offer letter. So here I'm going to enter the message as Hello team, please find attach the job offer letter for the candidate. Here I'm going to map the name of the candidate from my previous response demo candidate. Okay, for the designation, and here I'm going to map the designation junior developer L1. And now I'm going to attach the link of the offer letter PDF. Link of job offer letter. And here I'm going to simply map the link which we have received. Okay, so we have to search for the PDF link. This is given. Let's select it and it is mapped. Done. At last, I will simply enter. Okay, let's click on save and send test request button. And here we can find that we have received the response. And the response it is given. And here we can find that we have received the response. So let's go and check whether the message is received on our Google chat space or not. Let's go back. And yes, here we can find that a message is received from job offer letter, the name which we have selected in the webbook. Hello team, please find attached the job offer letter for the candidate, demo candidate for the designation junior developer L1. And this is the link of the job offer letter. And here is the attached PDF. Okay. So this means that our workflow is perfectly successful. So we have successfully built a connection between Google Sheets, Google Docs, Google Drive, and Gmail and Google Chat. And now we will test this workflow once again. We are going to add a new row over here in our Google Sheets. And as soon as we will do that, we will see that automatically a job offer letter will be created for the new candidate and will be sent in the same manner on our Google Chat space. Okay, so here I'm going to enter a new row. Let's say this time the name of the candidate is smart candidate. Here I'm going to enter a random email phone number and now I'm going to select the designation. So let's say the designation this time is digital marketing associate L1 and here I'm going to select the department. The department will be marketing. Okay. Let us select the work shift as well and all other details. Uh, let's say that reporting manager this time is new manager. Just a random name. Yearly compensation. Let's say here I'm going to. Let's say the yearly compensation for this particular candidate is 18 lakhs. So, so will be the tax deduction. That will be 20%. And here we are going to see that the base pay is 9 lakhs over here. Okay. So 18 lakhs divided by 2 is 9 lakhs. In the same manner, I'm going to drag all the details. This time the sender name is Michael Karras. The designation will be, let's say, HR Associate City. Let's change the city this time as A25 New Street. This is the city name, candidates, state and zip code and here will be the status. Send. Okay. So as soon as we have added a new row over here up till trigger column, let's go and check whether the offer letter is created or not. So we will go back and here we can find that a new offer letter is just now created for smart candidate. Let me open it and we will see that all the details are changed accordingly. This is the address of the candidate which we have changed A25 New Street. Okay. And here are all the other details. The base pay is this time 9 lakhs, house rent allowance and other allowances are changed accordingly. Okay, now we will go and check whether the message is received on our Google chat space or not. And yes, here we can find that once again, we have received another message. And this time the message is for smart candidate and this is the offer letter attached. This means that our workflow is running perfectly fine. So let's go back towards Fably Connect. And here we will summarize what we have done in the workflow. So we have taken very simple steps. We have set up a connection between our Google Sheets, Google Docs, Google Drive and Google Chat Hangout in such a way that now whenever we are going to add a new row along with the details of a candidate in our Google Sheets, automatically when the status of that row will be sent, then the workflow will get triggered and automatically a job offer letter will be created for that candidate in Google Docs and then the same job offer letter will be automatically sent in the PDF link on our Google Chat space with our team members. So I will attach the link of this job offer letter template along with a spreadsheet template in the description of the video. You can use and change the documents according to your choice. And this was it in this video. I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Not only these applications, but you can integrate many other applications by using Pabli Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can directly reach out to us at support at the If you want to ask any query, you can reach out to us at forum.pabli.com. And if you want to ask any pricing related issue, then you can directly reach out to the website given over here. Now, if you find this video helpful in any way, do not forget to share it with your friends. And also, please like our videos and subscribe our channel to learn more such automations.